we're going on a hike if we don't get rained out. So we're going on, this is an active archaeological site. So it's a fairly easy path. This is the, was the German internment camp. It's just below Fort Stanton. So it's just below the fort. So we haven't been down here yet. So that's what we're doing today. Going on a little hike. Earlier I said it was a German, but yeah, there were so many different things at the fort here at Fort Stanton that I was thinking this is the German. This is the Japanese segregation camp number one. If you want to read that, you can pause the video. After the attack on Pearl Harbor, the government can find more than 120,000 Japanese American citizens. No, oh, so next door, probably down the way a little bit, is the men's shared basic facilities with German segregate house next door. Look at the adobe walls. All well, this was on fire at one point. No, that's their blue. Air Bolt, 1944. Air Bolt, that's German. I know, that's German there. 1944. Well, I think it just, <laughs> the roof just collapsed on this one. Wow. Very interesting. Just in reference, Fort Stanton is over here. You see that tank on the mountain? That's where that abandoned prison was. And it, can you hear that gunfire in the background? They are, it's permissible to shoot guns on BLM land. And right behind us, is actually a makeshift gun range on the BLM land. Well, it's still got sheetrock in it. Stairs. Just dug it right into the ground. This is a swimming pool.
That would be a tarantula hole. Why do I know? Because I just saw a tarantula go in there. He was sitting out right here. Here are some details. Oh, pfft. thank you, Google. Scare me. It's kind of unnerving. <laughs> Walking out here and then the wind's blowing and it's blowing that metal roof. That's kind of eerie. I just like looking for neat little stuff. Here's a button. Kind of looks, it's not metal. Kind of looks new, but. And not far from it, I found this. So, what is that? Anybody know? Put it in the comments below. Artifacts leaving behind. I was looking at how the electricity was ran in this adobe building. It's like they put a groove or there's a groove down there and then they put the wire in there and then they cover it up with adobe. Oh, that's something that goes to electrical. It's an insulator is what it is. See how the wires buried behind the adobe. Very interesting. Wow, look at this. It's cement wash basin. Look at that rub board. Oh my gosh. Look how thick it is. Amazing, interesting things. I have never seen anything like that before. Box springs, look how thin they are. Look at that. There's like three or four other buildings over there, but we can't get across. Teeny tiny mushroom. I saw a couple for some more. All right, tell me if those are edible or not, or what kind they are. I'm always fascinated by mushrooms. So this building is the electrical building for the fort, when the fort was operational. This building was built in the 1930s. Look what's carved in it. Okay, so we read in a book and talked to the people in the museum that this building was built in the 30s and that is an Indian symbol for power. Have y'all ever heard that before? I've never heard that. So, you can't see that from the, the road. You have to come around to the very back of the building, so we had to walk around here. But if that's true, I learned something new today. I'm going to end today's video right here. If you like these daily videos, give me a thumbs up. If you hadn't already subscribed, go ahead and do so. And also hit the bell and you'll get a notification. I'll see y'all tomorrow.